Hey, I'm just Vosco and we're checking out a brand new game on the channel. This is Trigon Space Story. Uh, first off, I'd like to say thanks to developers for a copy of this game. I do like a space game and I do like a story game. So this sounds like a good combination. I don't think I've played many space games on the channel, if I'm honest. So this, this might break the mold. Uh, we've got Continue, which I've had, I've had to play on free play mode, which... Which, it's mean. This game can be mean. But we're going to go campaign. We're going to start a new campaign. If you start a new game, all coming progress will be lost. That's fine. I haven't started one yet. So we get to choose humans. Um, and that's it, because the others are locked. Okay, fair enough. So we're going to be a human. We're going to go easy mode. I don't want to go hard mode straight off the bat. There we go. So that's going to take us in. Now, this is our ship. As you can see down the right here, there are lots of ships you can unlock. I have not managed to unlock any apart from this. I've literally had like 10, 20 minutes playtime just to get a feel for the game. Um, this is our captain, Maxim. Um, I say this is our captain. He's got a star, so... Oh, he's our admiral. Okay. Um, then we got Sophia and we've got Daniel. We've also got a couple of weapons and that's pretty much it. That is as far as it goes. Systems, we've got a shield generator, hyperdrive, mega bay, uh, med bay, mega bay, med bay, life support module, army module, airlock system, sensors, and bridge. We can get other things, which we will be planning on as we go along. So let's jump in. Let's start the game. Uh, the hyperdrive charges when both hyperdrive and bridge are operational and I couldn't read the rest of it because it loaded so quickly. After shaking off another Ventor, Vet, Venator, Ven, Ven, Venator, yeah, patrol, Ventnor, I'm going to say, patrol, you are trying to understand what's going on. The local communications hub makes it clear that there's a bounty on your head. Oh, we're wanted. It would be a good idea to find a safe place until the dust settles. Your friend Ronnie from the asteroid belt knows best how to go around, uh, go to ground. Okay. So we've got to go and talk to Ronnie about going to ground. Something's up. Okay. Continue. So we've got a new mission. This is our ship. We can zoom in. So, and we can tell people where to go. So if I wanted um, um, Daniel here to go into here. I can make him, but I want him to stay in here on the weapons. Ultimately, that's it. We've got our ship. We, we need to try and protect our ship. This is a beautiful looking game. Weapon wise, are they both online? They do seem to both be online, which is nice. We don't have any spare power. The medi, the med, the med, medi bay, med, med bay isn't. And why, why am I having so much trouble with med bay? Uh, Mega Bay, Med Bay, Medi Bay, this thing here, there's not enough power to keep that running. We do have 800 credits, 50 scrap, 34 food, and 9 fuel to make. So food and, and fuel are important. If we go to the map, open the map, this is where we are. Okay, so we need to go to the asteroid belt, it said, right? Which is somewhere. As you can see, it's quite a big map. And from what I can gather, you've got different zones. So this zone here, to get out of here, we'd have to go to a jump gate, to a gate that joins the two, which is here. The red skull on that one and the red skull on that one sort of put me off doing that. So I feel like we should just make our way over to here and talk to Ronnie. On the way, we may discover some things. We may come across some things. Um, what's this? System unknown, black hole. I'm going to go here, I think. I'm going to go to Alchiba. Alchiba. Now, that cost us food, full food, and, um, well, I suppose food, it varies depending. There we go. Supplies ge generated each turn is two. So, we generate two food each turn. So, I'm guessing we've got some sort of food producing thing. Thing. Um, and then we've got supplies consumed each turn is six. So we're producing two, but using six. So we're losing four every turn. 
Um, fuel is used to make hyper jumps. Yes. Anyway, we've arrived. A human colony is asking for help. There is a meteorite uh, threatening to hit them. You have to deal with it as soon as possible or the colony will be obliterated. So we've got two options. Destroy the meteorite on its path. Uh, record the colony's destruction. I, I feel like, you know, I'm not trying to be a hero here, but I feel like the only fair option there is to destroy it. Why would we go, ha, 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 tough, and then just record the destruction? No, no, we're going to help. We're going to we're gonna do what we can. You managed to destroy the meteorite by um, concentrated fire from your weapons. That's enough to ensure that it won't harm the colony. The humans are grateful to you and send a small present for your help. Oh, I didn't expect anything. Uh, we got six fuel and 64 scrap, which is good. That's very good. Because ultimately, we need more power. We need to get our med bay online in case we ever need it. And the way we do that is we go to management. And we've got this here. This is our ship. This is how much power we've got, which is eight, right? And that's all being divided up here. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, not Wait. Wait, wait. So, wait. So, oh, I can. I can. Uh, that's going to cost us 40 scrap. But that's, no, I need an extra power. Ignore me. I'm doing this wrong. So, yeah, this is the power source reactor. We've only got eight. And if we go back, we got two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Because we got three on weapons. Because one weapon takes two power, as shown in the top left corner here. One weapon takes one power. So we need nine power to get the med bay back on back. So how much would that cost me? That's only going to cost me 90 scrap. 90 scrap is not bad. Like, we've got 114, so we can actually afford that. So I'm going to do that. Which means now we've got one extra power, which I can bung into there, and that means the med bay is now online, as it were. So it's, it's all powered up, ready to go. Okay, let's move on. So we've done what we can in this system. We're going to head out. Where are we heading? We're heading up to there. So let's go to Sham. Off to Sham we go, food goes down, fuel went down, what have we got? The signal is uh, heavily destroyed, but it's still a distress call. Seems like some tetracons need help. Okay, so they need help. Tetracons planet is sending numerous distorted SOS signals. Creepy. Probably a bad idea checking that out, right? Ooh, fight your fear and land on the planet. Leave it be and fly off. Now, see, curiosity killed the cat, they say. But I am curious. Why is it creepy? Numerous... So something's happened down there. They need help. Or oh, it's a trap. They're encouraging us in to help. And then they're... I don't know. What do we do? See, I, I'm going to fight my fear and I'm going to land because I am curious. I need to know what's, what's going on on the planet. So let's do it. When you land on the planet, you are surprised at the robot's behavior. The, yeah, the robots seem to be suffering from a virus or something similar. Might there be a way to help them? Okay, so we got the option of run diagnostics on the robots or try to find the source of the virus. Well, are we going to find the source of the virus without running diagnostics? I'd imagine not. I feel like we should run diagnostics, which might help us find the source of the virus. This, these seem very odd options. We're going to run diagnostics on them. Uh, you try to examine the robot. The timer indicates uh, running the diagnostics will take several months. Whoa, you don't have much time, so you switch them to diagnostic mode and leave the planet. At least you gathered some scrap on your way. Okay, so that's going to take several months. They're going to stay on that planet, um, and the next people who find them will at least not have to wait several months. We got a bit of scrap. Not a lot happened. Let's move on. So let's go and see Ronnie. Ronnie's over here. 
Off we go. Hopefully we can buy some some food. I'm getting concerned. We're down to 18 on food. On your way to the asteroid belt, it becomes clear that there is something wrong here. The stations are silent. No ships in view. You notice strange emissions on your sensors that emanate from a waste recycling module. Okay. Where is everyone? I need to find Ronnie in that in this whole mess. Stat. Send one of the crew members to examine examine the place. Engineer. Oh, could, so because we're good at engineering, this is an option, right? I presume. Send an experienced engineer to examine the place. Yes, let's send an experienced because we've got an engineer on, on board. We can do this option. So let's do that. Uh, you send an experienced engineer to figure everything out on site. The engineer walks through the station along its technical tunnels, describing to you strange triangle <laughs> triangles on the walls. Later, he finds a one of the robots again in an era, uh, eradicated location and brings it on board. Okay. So now we've got some food, we've got some scrap, and we've got a robot on board, right? Uh, the asteroid turned out to be a slaughterhouse. The answers are hiding inside. Lucky ticket. According to the signs on its body, its number is 213114. It would be hard to turn it on. Half of its brain has burnt out. You need to find someone who can restart it. Uh, despite the ban, it would be nice to find a Terracon that has already um, reconsidered its life. It looks like you'll need to go to a pirate station. There is no other place where you'll be able to find um, a robot which can turn another robot on for money. Okay, so we might be able to turn this robot on and and add it to the crew, as it were. So we need a pirate station. Into the pirate's den. Okay, we haven't spoken to Ronnie, though. Ronnie seems to have gone. Things went terribly wrong here, apparently. So we're going to head. Let's have a look. How are we doing? Oh, asteroids. Quick, we need to get out of here. Where's the pirate station? All the way down here. So let's go back to Sham. We did take a little bit of damage then. If we go to management. Yeah, we, we took one, one damage. Do you know what? I, I'm okay with that. One damage is okay. I feel like we've been here. We've been here. We know what is in our Chiba. So how about we come back through? Oh no, wait, can we get, yeah, we can. We can come back through this line so we can explore these three systems en route. So let's head here. Although I'm looking at my fuel now going, that may have been a terrible idea. We've only got 10 fuel left. Um, the former Atari colonies look like works of art. A huge number of cultural and natural monuments are now overgrown with plants. You examine the colonies from orbit while the engineer engines recharge. Oh, that's nice. So we just sort of examine the abandoned colonies. It sounds like they're abandoned, right? Oh, oh, oh dear. We're having electrical problems. We should probably get out of here. So let's not go there. Let's go down to Sigin. Sigin? Sigin. Yeah. I'm probably pronouncing all of these wrong. And anyone who watches my channel knows I'm rubbish with pronunciation. So I apologize now. Um, the Raki, the Raki organize another pirate raid on the station. Only this time the vent Ventnels are their target. Should you intervene and help one side? Hmm. See, is this my help? We do want organize another pirate raid. So they're pirates, are they? And we do need a pirate to fix our robot. Help protect the station. Which is what a good person should do, in all fairness. A good-hearted person should help protect the people being attacked, not the people doing the attacking. Hmm. But I do need pirates on my side. Do you know what? I'm, I am a good person. I am going to help protect the station. 
You decide to protect the Ventnals. Maybe they will generously pay you. You attack the Rahi fleet and the battle begins. Oh, we're going into battle. Okay, pause the game a second. So, oh no, it's like bug creatures. Okay, okay, so we're, we're now in battle. We want to put auto fire on, on this, this gun and we want to aim at... What have they got? Isn't it? Shields. What is that? Is that a teleporter? We don't want them teleporting. I'm going to aim that at the teleporter. And then this one we're going to aim at... Ooh, their shields, I think. Their shields. Because we definitely don't want these guys coming aboard. We don't have a teleporter. Um, they do. I'm sure that's what that is. I'm sure that's a teleporter. And that would be a bad thing. So let's start the fight. Pause is spacebar, which is always good. I love the spacebar as pause. Games that don't use that upset me sometimes. Is anyone going to fire? You're supposed to be doing the teleporter. You're supposed to be doing the... Sh uh oh, they're coming. They're coming. Oh, 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 look at that. They, they, were, they were going to attack. They were going to teleport. Did you see that? The first thing they did was head for the teleporter. But we stopped them. What's going on down here? We seem to have been hit. So who's our engineer? Uh, hyperdrive operator, engineer. Okay, Daniel, can you come down here and fix this? Is that something you can do? There's no oxygen. Oh, no. Oh, um, they're grateful to you for your help. They pay you a small reward and let you use their station. That comes in, a, in very handy. We can but hope they won't capture you at the station. Okay, so we got lots of scrap. No, we got lots of credits. We got a bit of scrap, bit of food, bit of fuel. Okay. Daniel's fixing that. That's good. Now go to the med, the med, the medi deck, and heal up. There we go. I'm not going anywhere. We we seem to be in quite a safe place here. He says, right by a black hole. There we go. So we're all ready to go again. We won our first fight, which is lovely. Really happy with that. Where are we heading? So we need to go to si Sirius. We're going to go down there. Off we go again. Hopefully no one's going to attack us. Hopefully it's a nice little stop. Uh, you receive multiple signals for help. Oh, we've just... Oh, oh, wait. Didn't we just attack these guys? Their planet has turned into a giant bomb after a terror experiment. They beg you to take the younger... The youngsters, okay, to nearby station. Um, sacrificing the lives of the older ones. Should you try to save all of them instead? Now, do I have time to save all of them? A giant bomb. Rescue the young. Try to save everyone. Ultimately, we could try to save everyone, but risk... Like, we could save these guys and be fine. Or we could try and save everyone and then everyone dies we don't save anyone at all because we run out of time i feel like i want to try to save everyone i feel like i am a good person but i feel like that may go terribly wrong would would i as a captain who's responsible of my own crew put my own crew at risk to save everyone else i think the answer is yes i probably would so let's go try to save everyone. In an attempt to save everyone, you took too many on board, causing them to go crazy and give in to their instincts. There's no way to save the planet. Now you have to deal with the madness going on in the ship. What? What do you mean they're in... Um... Oh. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, there's one on my ship. Uh-oh. We're in trouble. Okay. See? I should have just took the young... They took the young, dealt with that. Okay, so first off, do you have a teleporter? You do not. So I'm going to aim for you, the shields, and then we're going to use this one to aim over here. Or is that automatically... Are you set? 
I need you to fire there. Uh, we have an intruder. That's not good. Are you a good fighter? You're a hyperdrive operator. I feel you need to go here. Just run away. Wait, why are you not firing guns? Um, aim for their shields. You aim for that. Take their weapons out. That's it. Keep firing. Keep firing. That's it. There we go. Shields are going down. They're trying to fix it. This guy is absolutely annihilating us back here. I'm, I'm going to deal with the ship first. And then we're going to fix things. So go to the shields, Sophia, and fix those for me. There we go. He is taking out our hyperdrive. Okay, their ship is destroyed. That's good. Now we have to deal with the intruder. Can I pick everyone? Yes. Come down here, please. You destroy the enemy's ship and teach them a lesson. On second thoughts, if no one survived, there's no one to teach the lesson to. That's very true. Someone definitely survived because they're on our... Oh, no, they've gone. They've gone. Okay, okay. They just gave up. So you can go in here to fix this. You're going to fix the shields. That's okay. That could have went a lot worse. They did teach me a lesson, though. I can't always save everyone. Sometimes, sometimes you've just got to save who you can. Right, I'm going to wait for this ship to be fixed up. Sophia, can you fix up the med bay? Because that took a bit of damage. Daniel, back into the weapons room. Once Sophia's finished, she'll go back into the... Um, oh, what is she? She's a hyperdrive operator. She needs to go back into the hyperdrive. And we'll be ready to move on. There we go. Lovely. So let's have a look. So we're heading to here, right? To the pirate den. So hopefully we can get our robot fixed. That would be really nice. Hello, the pirate station. They are usually disguised as being uninhabited. If it hadn't been for your old connections, you would have had to look for it much longer. Approaching the station, you begin to feel a sense of adventure. Okay, so we've got old connections which allowed us to find it. Oh, we've got lots of options here. Quick sip of tea. The station is in chaos. Gambling, forbidden pleasures, illegal goods, somewhere in the mess must be the... The robot hacker you are looking for, but where to begin your search? Oh, this is good. So we can go head out to play a game of poker, take a walk around, talk to smugglers, buy a lottery ticket. Ooh, I feel like ha having a game of poker is not going to help us that much. Taking a walk, walk around might, but for the sound of it, there's a lot to see and a lot of things going on. Talking to smugglers. Now, that might be helpful. Or we could buy a lottery ticket. Again, not entirely sure how that's going to help us. So let's talk to smugglers. The local smugglers are quite outgoing. After the change of government, they were liberated under an am amnesty of any past legal problems. Liberated. So they've been liberated. One of the re invites you in. Okay, so we've been invited in. You approach a trader with caution. You have heard that the Raki become more sociable and accommodating when they are away from their kin. But you keep your hand on your holster nevertheless. Come, come, good friend. Uh, Raskan doesn't bite. I am an honest Raki trader. A regular exchange. You give me something, I give you something. Okay. I can buy a surprise. Um, you buy a... Wait. Explains to you how the trade is done and calls it surprise mechanics. You buy weapon at an absurdly bargain... <laughs> at a bargain price. However, you'll never know beforehand what weapon you are going to get. Do you know what? I'll play along. Let's buy a surprise. You buy the surprise and get your weapon. You ask where you get the weapon um, knocked into shape and learn the address of an experienced... Yay! There we go. So that's helped us. We've got a twin plasma turret, which is rare. 
Ooh, and that cost is 600, but it is a rare, a rare weapon. Okay, that's good. At the address, you find the small workshop of an old Tarek Tikon. <laughs> he immediately figures out why you're here and demands a pretty penny for a lucky ticket. I don't want a lucky ticket. I want you to fix our robot. Um, Ronnie is out there somewhere and he needs help. Should you really pay this greedy piece of iron or should you try something else? Offer help in exchange for repairs. Engineer, check the price with your engineer. Oh, we can check. Okay, check the price. Your engineer is shocked at the price. He raises some good arguments and proves that the repairs could be done much cheaper. Uh, reluctantly agrees and offers to help for the next to nothing. Oh, lovely. Lucky Ticket bounces back. So Lucky Ticket is our robot, right? Yes, it tells you about the events at the station. Two Ventnor ships enslaved almost everyone there. Anyone who resisted was killed on sight. The lucky guy regrets having committed suicide. The very thought of that, it feels regret about a successful suicide sounds odd. However, it didn't want to lose its memory unit, so it chose to burn itself in the recycling module where no one was likely to stick their nose in. Okay. So, uh, Popo, what a name, is our next thing. We've got Lucky Ticket. <laughs> Lucky Ticket has joined our crew. So, Lucky Ticket is a, a weapons operator. Daniel's an engineer. So, Daniel... You'd be better off, if you're an engineer, let's just put you in the shields for now. So if we ever get attacked, you'll be able to fix those, and that's good. Lucky Ticket, come over here. You're going to be in charge. You're going to be in charge of the weapons. So we got four people now. That's looking really good. Um, can we go? I want to go to the pirate station so I can buy some fuel or something. Apparently, that's not an option. We are going to look at management, though. Because if we go to cargo hold, we've got this new weapon, right? Which is the same as that, right? Oh, we can have double twins. Which means we would need an extra power. Ooh, what if we put you here and then you here? Would that be good? Can we do that? Yes, so they're both set up. We do need another power, though. So if we come to... Oh, we got some damage as well. Hull damage. How much would it cost to fix that? 51. So let's fix first. We've done that. Then we're going to go to management. A day passes. And I want to get one more of these. How much would that cost? 100. Okay, accept. Done. That means we can put one more power. Oh, no, we can't. No, we. why can't we? Hmm... Okay, go back to management. So we need to do it on here, right? We need to go four. Oh, that's going to cost us 80 and we don't have it. Okay, 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 okay. May No, not main menu. Not main menu. Go back to management. We'll put the old gun back on for now. Like so. And that will keep us going for the time being. You're not online. Why? Empty. So we'll put the rockets in. There we go. We can do that. Okay, so we need some more scrap or we need somewhere we can do some, some repairs to our ship so we can actually get that second weapon online. That's fair enough. Where have we not been? There's a bounty there. We've been there. Unknown system. Let's head here. Let's head here. Hopefully we'll find us a, a, a station of some description or something that we can get supplies from. You suddenly meet a Ventnor you've met before in the system, but should you uh, really approach him now? Yeah, why not? Hail them. Uh, you immediately hail him. He recognises you and you have a lovely chat about the injustice of the new world, after which he offers to help you out a bit with resources. See, it's always nice to say hello if you see someone you know. He's given us six fuel. That is brilliant. We really needed that. So we're going to head... Where are we? We're currently there. 
Do I want to go to the nebula? Nebula sounds like it would be difficult. But then from here, the only way is to you. Maybe we'll... Yeah, let's go to the nebula then. We're going to go up to the nebula. Hopefully there'll be something else there and the nebula's not... Oh, look, that's very pretty. Very pretty. You receive a message from the nearest prison planet. They are asking for someone to transport a criminal for a fee. You might want to find out more. Fly closer and learn more. Greetings, unidentified ship. I want to offer you a small job in exchange for Ventnor services. I merely... It merely involves transporting a prisoner into cryosleep. It's an easy job and you don't need to fly too far. Will you take it? I feel I feel like attacking the prison planet is probably not a good option. I feel like that's probably a step too far. Agree to transport the prisoner. I, I don't see why we wouldn't. We're going to get paid for it, so let's do it. Uh, you agreed to transport the poor fellow. You don't know what he did and you don't really want to find out. Um, Ventnels pack him carefully as they can as they can, and you set off to the designated coordinates. There we go. Lovely. So we've got a new mission for prisoner transfer. Let's have a look. Let me go to the right button. Let's have a look. Where are you going? Oh, you're going into a different system. Okay, so... That might be a bit difficult. We'll definitely give it a go. But I feel like whatever this Red Skull is, is a bad thing. Like, really bad. Like, we've faced ships which have been fairly easy so far. But I feel like if they feel the need... Ooh. Ooh. Here is a space trade station. Okay, that's where we're heading next. We're going to head over to the space trade station. We're going to hopefully... By the next episode, be prepared to take on whatever is here. Possibly. Possibly, just so we can take our prisoner over. Join me next time where we check out the space trade station, we upgrade our ship, and we try and get stronger and explore the rest of the system. And hopefully win this fight. If you've enjoyed this episode, hit that like button. If you haven't done already, please subscribe. It does help the channel. And until next time, I'll see you again.